When making the rocket, we start off with some saltpeter. I usually like to make things from scratch, but uh, it's very time consuming making saltpeter from scratch, but I'll post a link if you're interested in that. I start off with blending it so it gets a little bit finer, hopefully just like this. You really should wear a gas mask or something when doing this. Yeah, you definitely don't want to breathe this stuff in. Now we do the same thing with some sugar. Want it very fine. Now we can mix up the saltpeter with the powdered sugar. And there we have a rocket fuel. I like to use wooden tools when mixing uh, stuff that can ignite because uh, iron or steel tools can cause a spark and therefore ignite the substance. And now to test the rocket fuel. Oh, it burns all right. <laughs> I got some pieces from an artificial log and we're gonna, like you put in the fireplace, we're gonna put it in here and and make a cap for our rocket engine. Now we're gonna take some of the rocket fuel and put it into the rocket engine. And we're gonna load it just like a musket or something. Tap it down pretty hard. Then I seal the other end with bits of the artificial wood lock. Uh, but you could also use cat litter, it's actually just a clay, and I think. That's pretty much what they use to make regular fireworks. You can now we're gonna see if it works. <laughs> it could have been a lot larger, but I'm just doing small experimentation. There's a lot of rocket fuel left though. It didn't burn all at once and it left a lot of smoke, but it sort of halfway worked. I'm pretty pleased with it. Yikes, there's so much fuel left. I'm really going to have to <laughs> make a large rocket very soon because the saltpeter draws moisture from the air so it gets it burns very slowly if it's allowed to draw in a lot of moisture so I'm gonna have to create a big one <laughs> soon <laughs> and show you guys <laughs> 